hello everyone let's provide solution to this problem 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals 8 now we cannot add what we have over here okay but we can say 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 8 okay what I've done is to break 4 into 2 to the power of 2 because this will still give us 4 but we can always you know interchange the powers we can take 2 there and bring x in so we'll have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x so the square will be outside and that is equal to 8 so I can do this right good now we have 2 to the power of x in two places so I can say let 2 to the power of x be equal to y so anywhere I find 2 to the power of x I will be writing y so we now write y plus here we have y squared and that will be equal to 8 okay then remember we always write the one with the highest power first so I'm going to write y squared then we have plus y then minus 8 equals 0 so we have a quadratic equation then let's use the formula to deal with this uh, y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay i think the most difficult thing about using the formula is trying to know the formula offhand once you know this formula offhand there is no quadratic equation that you will not be able to solve now let's get our a b c from this equation our a is 1, our b is 1, and our c is minus 8. I believe we understand how um, we got all of this. Okay. Now, let's put this into this problem very quickly, into the formula very quickly. Okay, so we have y to be equal to minus 1 because b is minus 1 plus or minus okay b is 1 okay and because of this negative this has to be negative 1 then we have 1 squared because b is 1 then minus 4 times 1 times times minus 8 because c is minus 8 so we now divide this by 2 times 1 a is t1 now y will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus 1 plus 32 okay so how did I get 32 minus 4 times 1 times minus 8 will give us plus 32 so we will now divide this divide this by 2 to continue with this we have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 33 over 2 mind you we are not looking for y we are looking for x and there was a time at some point we said um, let okay see it over here we said um, let 2 to the power of x be equal to y okay so this means that in place of this y, I'll write 2 to the power of x. And it will now be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 33. Everything is over 2. Okay? But mind you, this is 2 in 1 because of this plus or minus. Right? So from here, it means that we are having 2 to the power of x equals minus 1 
plus square root of 33 over 2 or okay let me use this as all 2 to the power of x to be equal to minus 1 minus square root of 33 over over 2 right so from here we can apply the log so we get um log 2 to the power of x equal to log minus 1 plus square root of 33 over 2. Let's put this in bracket. Okay, and um, to continue with this, x goes behind. So we have from x log 2 equals log open bracket minus 1 plus square root of 33, okay, over 2. Now, what can I do from here? Divide both sides by log 2, so that um, x will be alone. So we divide this by log 2. This is going to go with this. And our x will now be equal to, we can apply change of base to this. And if we do that, we will be having log of this to base 2, log this to base 2, okay? So we now have log open bracket minus 1 plus square root of 33 over 2 to base 2, okay? So this becomes the value of x. But then we can get another solution. Let's consider the next um, um, alternative. We have 2 to the power of x to be equal to minus 1 minus this over 2. Right, let's write it again. 2 to the power of x to be equal to minus 1 minus root 33 over 2. Now, is it possible that we we'll have positive value from here? No. Because Minus 1 minus square root of 33 will still give us a negative value. So therefore, because here will give us negative and then here is positive, it means that this will not give us any real solution. So whatever value we have from here has to be rejected. Okay, as it can only lead us um, or give us a complex solution, right? So the only solution now is x to be equal to log minus 1 plus square root of 33 over 2 to base 2. Thank you for watching and um, do well to share this to your friends.